our guest today is President Emery of the Sudan. I'm very delighted to have him here. Mr. President, is Japan still stalling on opening its markets, or do you have any better promise from Nakasone? There'll be a statement about that later. Well, what, what do you have to say? I think it's going to improve, sir. Will its regulations improve? The statement will explain it all later. Are you going to support the protectionist measures up on the hill, sir? A word from your lips are worth a thousand statements. <laughs> are you going to let any more groups out of the table? Sarah, let it answer. Yes. We can't take any questions here. You know that. We're going in now to a, a meeting here that we've been looking forward to with uh, President of the Are we going to play deal or not? Is there a play deal? You know, short. President DeMary, do you have anything to answer? I'll be frank. Recess is over. Next class. Who's got the coffee grinder? <laughs> <laughs> How do people do that? Well, I'm not quite sure. They, they forced their way through the game. Well, I bring also a word of apology and regret. Nancy, they got her book doing something, and so she couldn't be here for this. She wanted to be here, too. But uh, I know it's a day of mixed emotions. And one of the greatest of my emotions right now is heartfelt gratitude for one woman reform of the United Nations. <laughs> television you done good <laughs> and uh, some of them but I was some of those questions about changes at the UN and everything I kept waiting for you to give the the one answer that I love most of all and that was uh, what had been done said well the United States took off its kick me sign <laughs> She thought everybody would heard it. <laughs> when you got a good one, make them look. Make them look. <laughs> well, it's with heartfelt gratitude for all that you've done. And with the best wishes of all of us I know for uh, now the rewards that go for doing a nasty job and finally <laughs> doing some of the things you want to do. Thank you. Uh, thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Mr. At, at the United Nations, we have the right of reply. It's not the only right we have at the United Nations. But I've learned to exercise it, and I would like to say that uh, I said on the day that I resigned that it had been an extraordinary honor to speak for freedom in the world body. It has. And for that privilege, I am deeply grateful to the President. That is only one of the things for which I'm deeply grateful to the President. It has also been an extraordinary honor to speak for the Reagan Revolution and to be part of it. And for that especially, I'm deeply grateful to the President. I. I don't know. I've, as of midnight tonight, I am no longer the United States Permanent Representative of the United Nations. I'm not sure we'll even have a mission left, Mr. President, because every one of the top ambassadors 
and counselors of the U.S. mission to the United Nations are here today. <laughs> For all we know, they'll capture our mission. <laughs> While everyone's away, and I say, if they do, yes. surrender. <laughs> back in the crowd there, and I was thinking, if they should try anything like that, well, you remember Grenada. <laughs> I, I, I get one more reply. Five years ago, April 1, 1980, I received the first invitation of my life to meet with Governor Reagan. April Fool's Day, 1980. <laughs> Five years later, April Fool's Day, 1985, we stand together, solid, solid friends, I yes. think, Mr. President, as yes. well as allies, as well as an humble servant. And I'm not quite sure who the joke is on. <laughs> 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 that is uh, all the people in the world that uh, we wish less than perfectly well to, and I thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, since as of 12 o'clock midnight tonight, I've still got this same job. <laughs> <laughs> to go over and do some tapings in the, in the other building. But, uh, and uh, this humble servant? This humble servant. <laughs> well, this fan of the humble servant now has to leave. God bless you, and thank you for all that you did. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Go back to work. Behind <laughs> every successful woman, there's a good stand-up. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm a little long in the tooth, Mr. President. Yeah. This is a pretty big numbered birthday, you know. So I'm not, okay, I can only I can only recommend my own what I've been doing for years. Makes it sound better. I you are observing the fifty first anniversary of your thirty ninth birthday. <laughs> well that's a good way to do it. <laughs> Courtesy of Jack Benny. <laughs> well let's go out here. We can In a few weeks, I will have a chance to more formally celebrate the friendship of the German and American peoples. But let me say now what no one can question. 
It was the heroic work of men like John McCloy during for John Mc, McCloy. We're also honored to have with us today the mayor of Berlin, Ebert Dietken. He has a special presentation to make on behalf of homage to European reconstruction after World War II to disarmament negotiations spanning more than 30 years. John McCoy's high intellect and selfish heart, selfless heart, I shouldn't have mispronounced that word above all. John McCloy's self and all the presidents you've served so well, but for all your countrymen and the millions of people around the world whose lives you helped make safer because of your devotion to duty and to the cause of humanity. And again, a very happy birthday from all of us. And now I would like to ask President von Weizsäcker to say a few words. Mr. President. Thank you. A democracy of tested stability, an important partner in the Atlantic Alliance. This seems rather natural and obvious and not particularly noteworthy to us today. But it was by no means was played by the men we are honoring today by John McCloy. It was his human decency in helping the beaten enemy to recover. It was his trust in freedom that largely contributed to re-establish a free society in my country and to enable soon will reinforce the and it is in this mind that I have come to bring the warmest wishes of the German upon you, Mr. McCloy, the dignity of an honorary citizen. This is the highest distinction that free when we Berliners speak about you we think of the Cassation. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Uh, 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 you're the Regierende. Uh, uh, and uh, I served in World War I with a man who fought the Indians on the plains. How short! The span of American history really is, but that connotes that particular fact that although I'm a little long in the tooth, uh, the country has really got a very young life and, a, and it's, it's great its destinies are in <laughs> <laughs> uh, it. This, uh, this honor that I've received today, I'm very sensitive about my a few years your life represents one half of the entire life of the country. Well, I hadn't thought of it before. It was a rather staggering statistic. Uh, <laughs> but I've been thinking of it. I've been thinking of it since. Uh, Burgermeister, uh, I have, you know, in Berlin, I used to, every time we went up there, it was very pleasant. As I got off the train or the plane, whatever it was in that period of the blockade, but as soon as I got off the plane, it was Willkommen, Herr McCloy. We could make a lot of mistakes down in the zone, but we couldn't make any mistakes up in Berlin. They were glad to see you. And it was really a very comforting uh, thing, the welcome that you got up there. And I stop and think frequently how much we owe to the Berliner. Uh, the Berliner for a long time to be grateful for, and the, the vice president, uh, and this entire turnout, I see a great many people with whom I've had a good many vicissitudes. And let me just say how deeply appreciative I am of this uh, tribute to me and how grateful I am for it. Thank you all very much. Yeah, I think that's one that's actually 
for my predecessor and the other to accredit myself in this presentation to my predecessor. We are pleased to have you here. And now, it be a prettier picture if you're in the middle.